pulling his past the legs. I lean. Gonna be enough. Now we're gonna do one of my favorite techniques, the fan flu choke from the side mount. It's a fabulous technique that has very little prerequisites and it's much more than just pure pressure, but it is pure pressure as well. So let's do it. So the fan flu choke, originally designed by the Dutch to ward off bicycle attacks, is something like this. From a guillotine, like so. And it's so simple, so simple. My head is in here. So the first thing that I always gotta do is pass the legs, right? If he has no hip control, it's almost impossible to choke me out from here. Now, instead of he having head control, my head controls both his arms. That's the basic idea of the fan flute choke, how it starts. My arms are free, his arms are engaged, and his neck is exposed. Look at the exposed neck. So now what I'm doing is my head side arm comes under the arm and usually grabs his legs for a while. My hip side hand comes, palm down, head side arm, palm up, shovel grip, control his scapula, now push the shoulder into his neck, now put all the weight into it, it's gonna be enough. So again, I'm in guillotine, I passed the legs already, grab, close, hold, push. Again, grab, close, hold, shoulder forward into his neck, right? And I roll my weight behind my shoulder. So my pressure goes this way, right? And my hip needs to be straight behind the pressure. There's no use if my hip stays here and I'm pushing against his jaw. It might be uncomfortable, but he will not tap. So I lean and I push. And even though I'm leaning, I do not fear his bridge because I'm holding onto his shoulder. So even if he tries to flip me, uh, it's impossible because I'm holding on to. Right? I'm closing here like a seat belt, closing so he cannot bridge me off to his right side. Right? The fan flu choke even works from a side mount without guillotine choke. So if his arms are hidden, yes, yeah, hidden behind my back, right. So no elbow exposure, no hand exposure, no nothing. All I'm doing now is scoop my hip side hand. I'm using hip side and head side instead of left and right because it's, it's a better system. So scoop under his scapula and lift it. Arm comes in and lift. His neck is on my biceps, right? There's no gap between his neck and my biceps. It's all the way closed. I lift his neck, lift the scapula, I close and I tighten up. And now I push my shoulder across his neck, straight across his neck. Angle is very important. If the angle is into his jaw, again, it's uncomfortable, but no reason for a tap. I need to choke him. So I grab and now I push my shoulder towards my left hand. Up, up, and close. And even when his chin is in, if he tucks his chin, yes, the pressure will usually be enough on the side of the on the jaw. And by pushing his jaw away, here his sternocleidomastoideus gets exposed. Here his carotid artery. So enough pressure will be on the actual artery to again make him tap. And one more important detail, so I scoop his shoulder, scoop his scapula here to stop him, to take away his ability to bridge me, right? But also it increases my pressure because if I just push in with my weight, that's far off enough. I'm very light, approximately 30 kilograms or so, so it's not enough, but I can pull with all the strength I have about as much as a gorilla. So I can hold here and pull, right? So I bring my weight into position and now I'm activating my left biceps, my head side biceps, right? And then I'm pulling his scapula 
by retracting my shoulder plate so I pull his far side shoulder, in that case his left shoulder, into my left shoulder and I squeeze the whole thing together and the more I lean the more I use this as a fulcrum and bring much more pressure into the neck and now we're gonna let Justin lift again so that's how you do a fan flu choke and that my friend is how you do a fan flu choke make sure to always be as tight as possible and apply pressure not only by leaning into it but by using your body as a fulcrum and holding really tight if you like it drop a comment subscribe to the channel to see more videos and see you next time